I probably should warm up soon before I start taking damage. I'm also going to need another shovel. Wait, did I make a spare shovel? Spare steel shovel? I Like, I need to check that. If I did, I won't have to do anything. Anything else needs shoveling? Well, I'd prefer to use like sand to fill this area in. Oh, might as well just clear this area. Things that need to be mined. Also get the stones as well. Okay, that should be it. Let's go inside. Now that it stopped raining. Well, never mind, it's still raining. It stopped raining like over there. And our glass is ready. So while we're doing all of that, what I'm going to do is get some steel going, or let's check the shovels here. I do not have a spare shovel. Alright, so let's get our steel. Oh, and we also have silver and more tin bronze. So because of the height uh, temperature on steel. I'm gonna put two in, in instead of the usual one because I'm really not sure if I'm able to work it. Uh, Temper is going up because of this. Yeah, there we go. So this doubles as a fire that warms me up. Then I'll just step away. Let's, uh, put away these things. I want to try to find, like, some... Wait, what's that stuff? Oh, it's the meteoric iron. Don't need that. So, what I want to do is try to find some extra, like stones that I have lying around because I'm pretty sure I have that oh here we go got some kimberlite actually we'll save the kimberlite just in case yeah never mind this should be warm enough now you'll, you'll at least warm me up Okay, so we have a hammer and we have a spare hammer somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right there. Okay. Let's make like two shovels. Fortunately, shovels tend to be the easiest tool to make, or one of the easier tools to make. It's just a flat thing like this. Then while the steel is hot, I want to make a couple of more things. I say one pickaxe and one axe.
Let's do the pickaxe. Oh, where are you? And then after that, we'll make another axe. Uh, where's my axe? Even though I still have high durability, I just want to make a spare. I really have nothing else to make at this point. And then after this, just make an axe. Or wait, shears? Oh, still have plenty of that. So, we'll make the uh, axe head. Where are you? Okay, push two of these up. And then two of these down. Or one of them. There we go. Got some extra tools ready to go. All right, let's put this hammer away and then put the axe somewhere. Oh, I have a spare axe already, except it's an iron axe. And I have a meteoric iron axe and another meteoric iron. Damn it. Why did I do that? Oh well. Important thing is we have it. There is a spare steel shovel. We have another steel shovel and this is almost out. Now, let's put this away. Also need to put away this, these fire clay bricks. You know, I'm just gonna put the dirt here, or not the packed dirt, but put all these bricks here. And then we'll put a, another one in my Inventory there. We'll just put these paths back for the time being. And then... I'm gonna go down to the... Kimberlite... Or, uh, mine. I was about to say ore. It's not an ore, but... We're gonna go down there. I'm gonna harvest some more stuff. Now, I do have... Everything I need. What I'm gonna do is just eat this. And then get more food. Yeah, we're fully loaded. How, wait, how much is left? 0 0.4 servings. So the reason I want Kimberlite is because I want some fancy stuff. I was gonna get some fancy stuff and, you know, it's still snowing, but it's plus two. But we should be okay. So, we're gonna light the mine over there. It's where we first found the very first fancy ruins of the game. Not sure if it's actually called the fancy ruins, but I'm calling it that. And I already harvested all of the stone bricks there. So, fancy ruins are not so fancy anymore. On top of that, I haven't really been going down these holes. Like, well, I did pro pick this area. There's like no resources there. Hi pig. That's why I'm pretty much avoiding this area. Like there's just nothing here. And there's the leftovers of the fancy ruins. Oh, I still have tables. Oh come on. trying to throw a torch down there. Just replace all these torches. And here we go, Kimberlite. Let's 
So, haven't been down here in a while. Like a very, very long time. But basically, I want some more of this Kimberlite for building materials. Like, we're gonna need the stones for either the cobblestone or for more stone paths. Either or. But I mainly want the. Oh, what's its face? The stones, the rocks as well. And we're getting to andesite, so I don't think we're going to get that much more in this direction. So I'm probably going to have to dig downwards. Also going to do the other side as well. Honestly, I never thought I'd be back here, but I do want those fancy materials. Okay, let's start doing the checkerboard pattern here. up this is actually a kind of a difficult angle to do this still doable and then we have to do the other side I should have brought a chest with me because I have to constantly going back and forth it actually takes quite a bit of time so that's something to keep in mind if you're doing projects like this put like a chest at the entrance of the cave or at the entrance of the hole just so you don't have to spend a whole lot of time like going back and forth between the storages as base Okay, now, uh, let's do checkerboard pattern here. And there we go. Finish up this side and then we'll do the other side. Okay, we can do one more. Just one more block this way. Okay, so we got 40 Kimberlite rocks at this point. Uh, I'm just gonna continue digging in this direction. I probably should light this up. Oh, right. Up here. Wait a minute, did I not do this before? Oh, jeez. It's 
So there are more rocks that I could have had before. Didn't get them. Well, I'll get them now. Okay, so I have half full inventory at this point. Now I'm also aware of the mining bag, which basically gives me uh, 10 slots as opposed to the six slots for from the lever bag. And that's better if you're mining, but I don't really want to change out my inventory stuff every now and then just for mining like it's much easier for me to just leave it as the the four leather bags the 24 slots instead of constantly swapping out the inventory stuff yeah it's more beneficial but you also have to consider ease of use and I just did this incorrectly. Fuck me. Fuck me. The fuck is wrong with me? Oh, there goes stones. Messed up that checkerboard pattern. This and this. There we go. Wait, did I? Oh, one more in this direction. There we go. And then we'll dig down here. There we go. You know what? I'm going to leave this here. Now, would it be worth it to continue going forward? Oh, right, right. Um, going to harvest this. And then we need to do the other side as well. We have like one more row. Ready to have a full stack of Kimberlite rocks. But I also want just a little bit more stones. Let's go ahead and continue going this way. Maybe like three more blocks. Okay, so it's currently noon. Okay, we're now at in Andesite. This is the end of the Kimberlite deposit anyway. There's three blocks, that's granite. Okay, we're touching granite now.
just on the edge of the granite and we can also get some andesite rocks. I might as well take them. I think we'll just finish up with this and then that'll be it. jump up here okay so we got four andesite rocks now keep in mind we do have some spare granite like granite rocks back at base in one of those chests I just need to make some mortar I have like 16 mortar left so but we'll see I don't know what it is with me and fancy materials, but I want it even if it takes a lot of time. That's pretty much it. You know what, let's fill in the rest of his stack. Like, I don't need to go after any more rocks, but I just want to fill in this stack. I think we can just take this layer over here, since we do have room. Just about. And I think that'll do it. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's get out of here. I think I'll just leave the torches here. It's like, whatever. Didn't burn through that many torches anyway. It's 210. Fully loaded on rocks and on stones. I really should go through this area and collect more stones. Hi chickens. Like, that ice needs to melt, like, right now. It's a rabbit going into the quarry. Yeah, you, you go in there. Check the beehives. Okay, they have swarmed into, like, all of them now. And some of them are already ready to harvest. Oh, we should go on the path, shouldn't I? There we go. This is much faster. And you're still raining. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna deposit this over here. Like, that's where all of my rocks are. And we also have some bauxite rocks. We could use that. But uh, I'll just do this. So this is all of our materials here. Uh, let's get three of these stacks for the time being. So we'll start processing more of these things.
Give me like two stacks worth of stone paths. Oh, you should use the andesite first as well. Now I think that's it. Alright, so... We'll just stick with this for now. And then we'll put the rest of these stones in here. Then load up on more paths in here. Oh, this is going to be a very expensive project, as I mentioned before. And I just realized, why did I bring the spare shovel with me into the Kimberlite mine? Like, I could have gotten an extra stack of something. Probably should get rid of you. What the hell? There's a peat deposit underneath the forest floor here. Wow. Okay, so this is convenient. Like, I didn't know peat deposits did this, but... This deposit spawned underneath. Was it like accessible here or something? Oh, I guess it is. But still, that was weird. Yeah, there's a peat deposit here that I was unaware of. I covered this deposit by dirt farming, I guess. Alright, so anyway, let's go ahead, continue building this out. Let me just put some filler material in here. So maybe we'll touch the clay deposit, maybe not. But I think we have enough. We did fill in this area too wide over here. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't fill in this area yet. So we're gonna have to get on that. These are still growing. That's still growing. I still need to chop that down. <laughs> 